I'm sick of the poison. Wish I had something to live for tomorrow. Oh, oh. <laughs> chain. Today we are going to be ranking every Has Been Hotel song that has come out so far in the series, which is episode 4, I'm also including the pilot, and we're gonna throw in a bonus song as well. Now I already hear the commenters saying, Oh, but wait, aren't you gonna react to the entire series? Did you watch it already? Yes, I watched it already. And no, I'm not reacting to the whole series. Uh, excuse me, the f Every content creator in their entire lineage has already done that, and I don't really think that there's anything that I can add. Here, you know what? I'll do it for you right now, ready? Wow, this is great! Okay, are you happy? I liked the show. And one of the things I liked the most about the show was the music. Let's just watch and listen to all of the songs from the beginning up into what has been released so far, give them some rankings and talk about what makes them so fantastic or less than fantastic within the scope of the has been hotel world. Is someone joining you in this reaction to these musics? And, and ooh, transition! Ooh, wah! Oh god, why did you do fire? Ow, it hurts, I'm burning! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 mm, ha. Hello, everybody. This is Jester Mimi. Hi. Everybody's a Jester who's on the channel. She's my partner and doing videos alone sucks. So we're deciding to do this together because it'll simply be more fun for everyone. I was supposed to go to work today and I got all cute. But there's a huge snowstorm, yes. so. Say in the comments a lovely hello. Warm welcomes from our audience, pretty please. I'll delete all of the bad ones. We are starting with the first song that plays at the beginning of the pilot, I'm Always Chasing Rainbows. And then we're going to put it on this here tier list. Song number one. So yeah, this is the first one that uh, we see in the entire series. This was the introduction to Husband Hotel. So we are going to be talking about how the animation from these sequences matters. Yeah. Um, because this is a visual medium. It's not purely just the uh, song numbers. And this is such a sick way. I mean, this won me over. I remember wow. when I was recommended this, I watched it for the first time. I wonder if the world's Ooh, those eyes are cool. Yeah. And now that we know more from watching the series, that gives us so much. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? So much more context. Yeah, like cleanse, cleanse. Fosky, you have it. Yeah. Ooh, I love that plot. I do too. I, I love the juxtaposition that we have too with Charlie being this like Disney princess introducing us to hell. Yeah. You know, like. I like that a lot. Oh, the, we know who those characters are oh, now. Yeah. And those characters. I knew Box and Valentine. I didn't know the other one. It's so fun to revisit this actually. Yeah. And Charlie, like, actually crying. The thing that's great about this is it gives you the emotional tone of what this is going to be immediately. Yeah. It shows you hell. It shows you even just, like, some of the gruesomeness. It shows you the clans, which is the main part of yeah. the plot. And then we get the title! Exactly. That was really good. So where do we put it, though? I mean... I, I feel like it's not quite S tier, but for the first song, for the start to the series... I'd give it, like, a B. Really? Yeah, just like it is short. the next songs. Yeah, there are a lot of fire songs on here. Okay, like, I'm, I'm just, gonna, let's let's at least be open like, to moving yeah, it potentially. Yeah, I'm open to moving it. Not... This is gonna be within the context of yeah. the show, not like all yeah. music in general. Yeah. I think that's fair where we're at right now. Let's go to the next one. Inside every demon is a rainbow. Another Charlie number. Ooh. Lovely clash to Al Alistair. Very. I'm interested to see what you have to say about this one. I love that. It's cute. It's cute at first, but then it gives you that, like, almost pop punk influenced kind of, yeah. you know, uh, theater style. She's just like, she's adorable. She's so, she's so cute. She's really cute. I remember watching this for the first time being like, oh my god, this is sick! Yeah, like, when the like pace goes up. <laughs> I'm just gonna freeze on that frame, you know, like, so after cute. everything we've seen and how, like, violent and, like, how mm -hmm. much swearing and, like, profanity there is, to just being this cute. Little puppy and some cotton candy. It's so it's good. It's cute. Excellent. I give that an A. You give that an A? I think that's deserving of an A. Yeah. I think it's that's not, like, me. S. Like, don't. 
Don't get it twisted. But like, I give that a good A. It tells us what's going on, but it ugh, theme song does it remind me of? Phineas and Ferb. There's a hundred and four days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem of our generation is okay, finding yeah. a new way to spend it. Like, like maybe building a rocket, rocket or fighting a mummy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. That's what it reminded me of. So like we... And that's a good, that's a good relation to yeah. make. All right, on to the like, next one. Like, that's probably why it hits so hard. Yeah. And the next one is Alistair's reprise of the exact same song. You have a dream you wish to tell. Cause you're one of a kind, a charming Okay, so I'm giving this major points for the animation style. Huge points for animation. And it's so jazzy. Inside of every demon. Is a lost cause. Oh god, and the contrast. Look at that. Oh, I love the colors. The dark light, the jazz, the fact that they do the whole song in his radio voice. And the uh, ending. I like it, it's short, it's sweet. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm adamant. Okay. I, I think that's right up in S tier. Everybody, I love jazz. I love that style. And the, yeah, I, I would love maybe, the radio. I would have maybe been okay with high A tier if it wasn't for how sick that animation sequence was. Mm -hmm. Right? Agree. So this is the classic yeah. has been hotel. We're gonna do one bonus one here, and right before we do, I just want to remind everybody to like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> she just poked your eye on my finger. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do the Addict Has Been Hotel song, the music it's video. It's really good. Um, I know there are other songs as well that uh, some are fan made. There might even be some other Vivzy Pop ones. I haven't paid enough attention, but we only wanted to throw this one extra one in because I really like it. <laughs> and it's my video. I actually like how it starts quiet and then ramps up. I think that's a really cool design. It's really good. Till death do us part. I have a shirt with that exact image on it. This honestly, especially having seen episode four of the show, this 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 hits different. Now. It hits so different. I listen to this like I was addicted to this song. The way they do the cuts to the the way they do the cuts between Angel Dust and uh, Cherry Bomb. Yeah. Speaking of, where's my girl? Yeah, I know, right? Where's Cherry? Oh, I, I miss Cherry Bomb. Yeah, yeah where is my girl? Does, does anyone let us know in the comments? Did they just yeah. write her out? I, I, really, I totally miss her edition. I miss her too. I really hope they didn't write her out. Like, I wanted to definitely know more about her. I love this song. Maybe because I've heard it so many times. Yeah, we've heard like, this one a lot. Just, like, earwormed itself in. Oh, yeah, we're throwing this one right in S. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one below Alistair still. Even though I absolutely love this song to death, it's still not like... It's like an outside unit. Yeah. But I, I enjoy it. Alright, and now we are on A Happy Day in Hell, the first one for the release of the new series. Soon after oh I god, this, I love the drawing. Somehow I know it. Or animation. Yeah. Behind my plan. I like that this is the first song that they start off with because they're really trying to make you feel like, yes, Charlie is a Disney princess. Yes. In hell. Could be swell. Something tells me that today will be a happy day in hell. Okay, but just don't sing to them. That bitch is halfway down the street. Oh, she's dancing. That was the first part of this episode that made me laugh really hard, too. I will say that this had a little bit less laughs than the than the pilot did and then Hell of a nice. Boss does, but I yeah. don't think that's a problem because it's not going for the same tone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Definitely. I think it's ironically more mature, you know, depending on how you define those terms because they're uh, taking the show waves really seriously. Hi, mister. Go fuck yourself. An endless trash fire that's <laughs> and, and... It's definitely like high worm musical. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it gives that vibe. Like, no, this is what you should be walking into. And I'll bet that's gonna put some people off. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, musicals are really hit and miss for people. I like it. I like the good musical when it's done correctly. I, I will say, when I was in this episode, at the very beginning, I wasn't sure how I was feeling about it. And then once this song number actually kicked in, was when it started picking up for me. 
Well, I'm waiting for a point when we both, I believe, quoted. Is the song still going? Oh, that's fair. That's fair. This one goes on a little long. That's here, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's still going. Some of the lines might be a little hokey in this one. But that's so funny. Yeah. Like, that's such like a they're funny doing, thing like, do. all of the musical theater tropes right now. I'm here for it. Thank you. I'm just gonna. Yeah, and, and that's like that's so this show's identity. Yeah. You know, they they hit it, they hit it well. <laughs> There's like people killing each other in the background yeah. while she's singing her Disney princess song. Like it's beautiful. There are literally people, people munching on intestine. Yeah. Um, this is a tough one. I give it a C. The first time I heard it, I'm not gonna lie, I was like. Ugh. I got. I mean, if we're comparing, especially like the the song of the pilot, like yeah. the first song that we heard that yeah, had such like a this... crazy great emotional tone, this one was a lot more hokey. Yeah. I again, I might be inclined to move it around a little yeah, bit, but like, that, I think not... that's fair to put it for now. Exactly. Like it's no way at all like a D tier song, but yeah. it's not. There might be a chance that none of these end up in D tier. I feel like none um, of them are D tier. And songs. and for what it's worth, like just because something's in C tier doesn't mean we think it's a bad song. Yeah, like it's, there's this is yeah. all really good. But I, I agree, like for the context of the show, there are better songs than that. The next one we're doing is Hell is Forever. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Extermination. I'm so I'll be honest, when I started hearing this this intro here. I was like, are all of these just gonna be these kind of like over the top musical styles? But then, if what you're suggesting is letting them climb up the ladder, oh, they'd rather cross the pearly gates. Well, uh, sorry, sweetie, but there's no defying their fates, cause hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Okay, so like everybody, Love. yes, this character is a terrible person oh my god like he's obviously so bad. It's the, Adam. they make you love to hate him he's the embodiment of toxic masculinity yeah. at its finest right however this song, this song is great <laughs> this song also, is great also i need to just point out charlie's literal crayon drawing <laughs> to her meeting. yeah literally like, crayon. When did you have time to draw those it's adorable also, the way you paused at this point, that eye, like, that's tattoo worthy. That's really That's cool. true. Just try to chillax, babe. You're wasting your breath. Oh, God. Do uh, you babe. imply that they don't deserve death? Are they winners? Are they sinners? Because it's cut and dry. Well, actually, you fair is fair, and I for an eye. Yeah. So this is, do you know Alex Brightman? This is Alex Brightman, who does the voice of Fizzarali in Hell of the Boss. Yes. And he also did the voice of Pugsley in Dead End Paranormal Park. Oh. Ah. And everybody, if you haven't seen Dead End Paranormal Park and you're watch into this, it. watch it's, it. It's on it's Netflix. It wasn't really finished, good. but like the creator is amazing and yeah. you'll love it. Big shout out to Dead End Paranormal Park. Yeah. We even interviewed the creator. You can find that on our it channel too. It was really, really good. And for those of us with divine ordainment, extermination is entertainment. Oh. The way that was delivered is perfect. And when I, when I heard it, I literally was just like, my jaw dropped. Yeah, it I, was I, I definitely could... like, ooh, let's do some commentary. Yeah, like, oh my god, I can't believe they're going that route. I, yeah. I'm glad that they weren't, like, tiptoeing around the fact that angels are not necessarily good people. Yeah. Good to just hit it right off the yeah. bat. Ooh, oh, he's <laughs> so got good. a guitar. Oh, do you, I do what I want. Wait a whole year to slaughter those little. I know it's just been a week, but we'll be back in six months. <gasps> oh, shit. See, see, that's the thing, everybody. All right, let's go to the tier list. This one's tough for me. I think I'm going to put it at the top of A. Yeah, agree. It's not quite S because for me, there's not enough. Like, the animation is very cool. But it doesn't come close to the other two. No, but uh, it's Well, it does come close to A. Yeah. But it's it's not quite as good, in my opinion. No, it's definitely, like, giving us really good, like, context of what's going on in the story. Yeah. Too. One thing that a great musical does is its songs serve a purpose. They're yeah. not just there to be fun, right? Yeah. They're there so that you can also get a lot of character development or plot, uh, you know, development. And this gives us so much. Two huge plot bombs, right? Yeah. Like, these angels are, like super not really cool. bad and they're 
rage coming back in six months. Yeah, because they just kind of like to watch the demons die. Next one up is Stayed Gone, the first song in episode two. That fucker is back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good too. It's been seven years! You still pissed he almost beat you that time. Uh, fuck you. Just saying. Things have changed a lot. I just love the background stuff. Now that I'm like looking, there's yeah. a lot of really cool imagery. Yeah, the around. way that they're working. I, I think Vox is a great character. Oh, so um, good. This is so sick. That We get a villain song. We get a duo. Yeah. We get a duo. Or uh, what's it called? We get a duet villain song. A duet villain song. You wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone oh, so good. It's teeming with exactly what you want a villain song to yeah. have. Like, Disney's Wish, take some freaking notes. This this is what a good villain song looks yeah, like. Yeah, this is really good. And it shows a villain war, too. Good news, he's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. You can take that as gospel. Pulling my viewers impossible. I'm visual, he's barely audible. Stop I love the, the editing. I love the use of television. So good. Oh, I love this color. And then here comes Alistair fighting back. I also, one thing I love about this is it really is giving us a contrast of the personality of Vox and Alistair. Yes. Alistair is a suave, confident, super baddie. Yeah. And this is showing Vox feeling like, no, I need to stop this. I need to stop this. Like, Vox uh -huh. is looking like the an anxious guy that's got nothing under control. Yeah. Very self-conscious and, like, yeah. he's constantly thinking about how he looks, how he's dressed, what he's saying. Yeah. And, and, and Vox... Like being on TV. Whereas when you're on radio, doesn't matter. Yeah. Nobody can see. I said no and now he's pissy. That's the tea. You old tiny prick. I'll show you suffering. Uh oh the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. <laughs> I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Oh. Ooh. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Let's go. Oh. When I'm done. Oh, oh baby. Oh, oh it's an amazing year. Oh. oh. I, yeah, I know, right, Judy? All right, S -tier. everybody. It's S tier, of like S -tier, top right? of S tier, right? Top, like immediately. Top of S tier. That this is this is my favorite. Oh, so good. That last like oh twenty to God. ten seconds is just like so incredible musically and animation. Like yeah, the way that they do the back and forth, the way that they oh show Alice's demon it's fall. So good, oh baby. It's so good. I love it. It's so good. The next one that we're covering from the same episode is It Starts With Sorry. It starts with sorry. <laughs> oh dear. That's your this, sorry. I thought, was kind of laughably Smoking dumb straight. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but it's like also just the adorable. The thing like, is, they make Charlie so earnestly sweet and yeah. hard, like wholesome that it works. Where, it where, like, if this was in a Disney movie or something, I would be like, please stop this. Like, I would walk out of the movie theater. Like, I walked out of the Disney movie. They, like, they know who yeah. their audience is and what it is. Yeah, and, like, it's so... that's what makes it so good. It's brilliant juxtaposition. Look at, yeah. look at Angel holding two machine guns ready yeah, to, like, super kill this guy. he literally has, like, a freaking spear yeah. ready to stab this guy. And spill his blood. <laughs> it's honestly really strong character development for Charlie. Super. Because she's just like ready to protect you. It starts with sorry. <laughs> Cute. I hated that song. <laughs> Are we going to agree with Nifty? Because it serves the plot so well, I kind of want to put it in B yeah, tier still. I was going to say B tier too. Like, yeah? It's not like a bad B. But like it's also not. I mean, it's still under the the, the intro to Has Been Hotel. Yeah. That that was still too incredible. But yeah. But it like really it even be. I, yeah. All right. Exactly. Cool. All right. Next one. The next one we're covering is Respectless. You better show some respect. 
check your behavior. No one speaks to Zestral that way. Oh. You've got it twisted. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. Maybe you missed it. But I'm I that hashtag bitch costume. and I... This one's very powerful. Because it's almost like she's actually trying to stoke the flames for what I would have expected them to go. You know, like, we need to yeah. kill the angels. We need to fight back. Yeah. That's kind of the way that, that it's making, like, the audience wants to feel that way, but they're villainizing her. Mm -hmm. So it's weird to see. There's a, I'm interested. It makes me interested to see where the plot's going to go in the next four episodes. Definitely. Um, and that's one of the pros of the song, right? It's, it's yeah. keeping me hooked in the story really well. Woo! I'm the backbone of the vase. Not that I'll act respectless. Well, her it's movement no is great, too. Yeah. You lost your relevance. We can't act without more intelligence. Ugh, no wonder I'm See, so it, it, I could eat you lot for breakfast. You yeah. kind of want to agree with her. That's a strong note, I think. Yeah. Uh, Alistair's creeper face yes. right there. <laughs> and why are you avoiding war? That's what the guns you sell are for. Thanks to my being It's just such a good line. I feel like this one's written very well. I feel like we haven't been talking enough about the songwriting, but this, this one's lyrics get really hard. Woo! Short but sweet. What do you think? I give it like B, C tier. Really? It's not my favorite, but like it's. Ooh, we gotta put it top of B then. Okay. I feel like it's powerful enough to be yeah. up here. I, I was gonna say A. I was gonna say bottom of A. So we could split the dip and put it in B. I think they killed that performance, and I think that uh, it does a lot for the plot and what we're looking at. Agree. Next one up in the same episode. Whatever it takes. What weighs on your soul, old friend? Love this guy's voice. I implore too. you. But if anyone knew, then all of hell would rise to war. And who's to say you'd survive the fray? This song makes sense and still feels very musical to me. It's a rock yeah yeah it feels like a rock ballad yeah. i like it it's not my favorite though no it's not mine either but i like it later this is when i start to like it because i like yeah. baggy's um yeah. voice actress i think i'm noticing also how much this is telling about both of their characters This is a pretty strong duet. Is it dark when I just want to know how bad you lost my eyes? No, I mean, I think that's reasonable. I, I am going to put that one in C tier. Yeah. I, I, I can't. Yeah. I, I, Top of C, though. You think better than Happy Day in Hell? I would probably yeah. put it behind. Okay. Okay. Because Happy Day in Hell, was it, it still had a, a different kind of tone. Don't get me wrong, yeah. everybody. Like, this song did what it needed to do, and it did it really well. Yeah. But it definitely, when it comes to, like, the pacing and tone, it definitely feels like that third act song in a musical that you're starting to lose focus and attention, really. And you're, like, tired. Yeah, exactly. All right, everybody. Now we're going into the last two for episode four, and these were these crowd favorites. So I'm, I'm yeah. excited to talk about these ones. Maybe some hot takes, though. We'll hot see. Take. First up is Poison. I guess content warning for this one? I mean, content warning for literally all of Has Been Hotel. Yeah. And action. This one's really rough. Yeah. I'm not a bubble of the cash hand. It's also a very good song. It's not that much worse. It's not that much more hardcore graphic than anything else they've already done in the show. But it is like depicting Yeah. This reminds me a lot of Britney's toxic. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, and That's like pretty graphic. the I background think. videos, pretty rough. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is very clearly like non consensual media, which makes it very. Oh, that's a whole change. 
Yeah, the a break bum, at the bum, end. Oh. And the song just like, oh my god, that just like almost makes me want to start crying. I like, know. Just, See, that's the thing. Like, it's like, painful. To hear, yeah, to hear his voice break. Like, that's an S tier song. I mean, I think that it's fair to say that that's like the spiritual sequel to Addict. Yeah. And it's better. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like, I put it in right, like, here? right there. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah, it's and, painful. And, but, but that's like, what makes it. Who good, doesn't right? love a song that makes you, like, a little bit uncomfortable or, like, a little bit sad? People love a song that they can, like, cry to or, like, feel. Feel the emotions of the character. Yeah. You know, it's. And this it's... isn't a very emotional song. And finally, from the same episode, Loser Baby. All right, everybody, let's see if we agree with the internet. Your whole existence seems fucking hopeless. You're oh. feeling filthy as And just a for the context, everybody, emotionally, you are so face the world there for Angel Ray. Right? and dopeless. You think your life is wrecked? Well, let me just say you're correct. Wait, Wait what? So when this had this intro, I'm like, all right, where are we going with this? Is this going to be hokey? And as soon as he says you're correct, I'm like, yeah. no, this is going to be great. You're a loser, baby, a loser, goddamn baby, you're a fucked up little one. <laughs> the look on Angel's face just perfects like it. Thanks, asshole. Supposed to make me feel better? There was it made the audience I feel better after no that other rough the entire radio. episode. I sold my soul. To a psychopathic freak. <laughs> and you think that makes you unique. That's one of my favorite lines. That's so funny. But at least I know I'm not alone. You're a loser just like me. Oh. It's so good. I got no holes left to deflower. I sold my soul to save my power. Now I'm on that deep. So good. I was mentioning how the animation is so sick for uh, Alistair's song in the pilot, and this yeah. is hitting for that yeah. too. You're a loser, baby. Like the neon. Loser, but just maybe if we eat oh shit my together, god, this is just things me. will end yeah. up differently. It's time to lose yourself, loathing, This is just so cute. Loser, just like there he is. They're fucking singing. <laughs> that ending was really good because it's like you're really wanting Damn. that harmony, but they don't end there. Yeah. But... Now we know it's S tier. Yeah. Right. But where? I. Oh, this is so it's tough. Like, I like it at the top of S tier personally. I think we yeah. will agree with the internet. Like, it ties so the emotional good. baggage of this whole episode that's been building up to. It yeah. makes you feel better. It makes you feel like Angel's got a chance. And it makes you love this character dynamic, which we haven't yeah. really seen that much of. If it wasn't for its role in the show, I'd probably put it a little lower. But because of what it functionally does for the characters, mm -hmm. I think it's deserving to be here. I agree. The whole story of it, seeing the two ter characters come together in su like such a beautiful duet. It's yeah. Just... All right, everybody. This is it. This is the list. Screenshot okay. it. Screenshot Let it. Let us know if you agree. Let us know if you would change anything else. Tell us yeah. your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for joining me. I Thank appreciate you. you being here. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Judy was here the whole time. And leave some comments if you want to hear uh, rankings of any other interesting yeah. things. I'm going to pin the most interesting idea and then steal it and make a video out of it. Capitalism. Peace, everybody. Bye. And when I say peace, I mean it.